Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to take a quick overview of the services in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Um, I have written down right here for you some of the services. These are the basic services in Microsoft Dynamics AX. All other services, most of the time, are part of these services. So these are high-level services in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. The first service is document services. In Microsoft Dynamics AX, whenever the documents flow happen, um, it happens in most of the time in XML format. So any document flow uh, from or to Microsoft Dynamics AX uses document services. And um, example of my, uh, uh, document services is such as uh, customer, uh, vendor, or sales order. Uh, number two, custom services. Uh, these services are highly used for development. Developer used to expose X++ code and whenever they view the X++ code uh, behind the scene or they make any changes and compile all the X++ code and put back in the system, they use custom services. And the third service is system services. Uh, keep in mind that the first two services may be customized, but uh, the third, uh, thir third type of services that is system services in Microsoft of Dynamics AX 2012, they are not customizable. So you cannot make any change in system services. The basic types of system services is metadata services, query services, user session services. So what metadata services is whenever you wanted to uh, uh, query any metadata related to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, you use metadata services. And the second is query, all the query, including the data. The metadata services will not return you data. It'll uh, return you all the schema um, um, and uh, metadata of Dynamics AX 2012. If you wanted to get the data as well, you use query services. Uh, query services also used example of query services is when Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, make connection to uh, Microsoft SQL Server uh, to retrieve the data uh, from any query coming from external application uh, that would be uh, using the query services. Uh, the user session services is also part of system services. If you wanted to look at a particular session and um, the metadata of that particular session, you will use user um, uh, session services and this is specific to a session uh, such as uh, what language uh, uh, that particular user that has built a session in Microsoft Dynamics AX um, uh, using also um, what company that um, uh, is configured for that particular user and so forth so these are the basic types of Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, services um, the system services are also all the application integration frameworks is done via system services. So all the AIF services um, in Microsoft Dynamics AX uses uh, most of the time the system services. Um, and that is uh, application, any application that integrate, that talks to Microsoft Dynamics AX uses AIF. And that is the recommended way as well. So this is just a quick overview. I, I'm just going to show you quickly where you need to look at different services. Um, if there is no direct way to just see what the service is running, but if you go in the ports, uh, which will be, I'll explain, explain in another um, video that uh, what are inbound and outbound ports in Microsoft Dynamics AX. And once you look at that, if you look at inbound ports, they are all those uh, uh, application integration framework. They some of the services uses that. So I'm gonna quickly show you that uh, what are the services available, and they are part of uh, actually most of the time uh, uh, these services: document services, custom services, system services. So let's take a look quickly. Here's uh, my uh, server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX. So here's my view, system administration view. If you go look at the service configuration up here, services and application integration framework. So AIF, all the uh, services and AIF framework, you will uh, find everything here. If you click on inbound ports, you will see all the ports and different services using different ports but uh, most of the time if you have installed uh, um, Microsoft Dynamics AX default the port is 8101 and uh, t um, and um, you can also look um, the TCP IP port as well and that would be d um, default port I guess it's a tw 2712 I believe 
but I may be wrong but you can take a look so all these AIF services are right here and you can see AX client and you can see BI services all the BI services these are business connector from coming from uh, reporting services BI tools uh, these uh, reporting services and analysis services uses these uh, BI services and um, uh, here documentation handling the document services are being used um, rapid start these are the services actually some of the system services you can take a look so this is just a quick overview uh, of Microsoft Dynamics services um, in, in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and we'll go through um, more sessions of learning about inbound and outbound port why why they use it and how we configure um, BI components actually basically I do have already a video on how to configure reporting services uh, uh, and uh, um, analysis services um, um, with Microsoft Dynamics AX if you wanted to look at uh, the step-by-step -step process please watch that video but this is a quick overview we will take uh, some uh, um, uh, some of the overview uh, around inbound ports and outbound ports I'll show you what a difference um, what is the difference between inbound ports and outbound ports and um, we will also look at uh, the enhanced services and um, um, basic and enhanced ports uh, basically so um, this is quick overview I hope it helps to understand the services flow in Microsoft Dynamics AX and again we will go in a uh, little bit detail later on I hope it helps